Hello and welcome to TV Tutorials. My name is Doc. Let us do computer practice info, shall we? Let's get right to it. On today's episode, I will be taking you guys through the basics of absolute cell referencing or absolute cell address. Before we can even do that, we need to understand what is absolute cell referencing or absolute cell address. Absolute cell referencing basically is a function in Excel that helps us identify specific cells and use them as references, hence the term absolute cell reference. So let us break it down by being practical about it. On my computer, I have a spreadsheet that has been created already and we have populated some information. Now, if you have a look on the spreadsheet, we have the spreadsheet is labeled as Plant Paradise Garden Center and we have a 14% here. Take note of this 14% because we are going to use absolute cell referencing to specify this cell or to identify and refer to this cell. We are required on this spreadsheet to determine 14% of the selling price that has been typed in in this cell. Basically, we are going to make use of the absolute cell reference function to inform Excel to use this particular cell and refer to it every time we do the calculations on each and every cell over here, right? So let's go ahead and determine 14% of this amount. So to do that, we are going to insert the equal sign and then select this cell because we are trying to get 14% of this cell we need to multiply. We need to multiply. Once we have clicked on multiply, this is where the trick comes in. To use absolute cell reference, we need to use special characters. We need to use a particular special character, which is known as the dollar sign. So we're going to go ahead and insert our dollar sign here. Once we have our dollar sign, then we need to make use of the reference part of the absolute cell reference, right? By that, we mean we need to select this cell. But we are not going to click on this cell. We need to type it out manually, right? Because if you click on it, it's going to give you an error message. So to know which cell this is, remember, you need to use this part of Excel where we have our column headings and our row headings, right? So this cell is located on column E, row 2. So back to our cell, we are going to type in E and then insert another dollar sign and then hit on two. Once you already have that, you, sh you should notice that that cell is automatically highlighted. That means we have um, used absolute cell referencing to identify this cell and refer to this cell every time we perform this calculation. Once you have typed in your formula, then we can click on enter. Once we click, once we click on enter, we should get 14% of this amount. So let us go ahead and click on enter and see what happens. 14% of 3,458 is 484.12 cents, right? Now, earlier on in one of our sessions, I mentioned to you guys uh, the autofill function. You can make use of the autofill function. If you are unfamiliar with it, the link to that video will be in the description. Right, so make use of the autofill function. And then voila, you will have everything populated for you. Now, another tricky part of this is that if you make use of the absolute cell address or absolute cell reference incorrectly, instead of Excel sticking to this particular cell, it will move over to the next cell, which is blank. Again, it will move over to the next cell, which is blank. But because now we have this function, the absolute cell reference function, we are informing Excel to stick to this cell. Whenever we do our autofill function, Excel will select the next uh, cell, which is not referenced in our function or in our formula, our C, which is our C4 in this instance, versus the cell that has been referenced, which is E2. So if you click on the next cell and you go to our formula bar, you will see instead of saying C4, it says now C5, but it still remains E2. So basically, that's what absolute cell referencing does. It helps us identify a specific cell and whenever or whatever we do, it informs Excel to stick to that cell no matter what. 
Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, share, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more lesson videos by myself and my team at TV Tutorials. Click on that bell icon so that you are instantly notified every time we drop a new lesson video. Until then, adios.